You might want to learn a recipe, but all I can show you is a recipe. Yow! So what we got today is a little recipe recipe for you, James. And here it is. I'm going to show you how to use that seasoning that I sent home, sent over to you. This recipe calls for a few ingredients. I'm not going to tell you how much of each to use, but you can use either garlic salt or regular salt. I grabbed the wrong thing. Regular salt. Boom. You can use pepper or pepper. You can use sesame oil, a little bit of heavy whipping cream. That's one of the things you really need to have is that heavy whipping cream. Uh, olive oil and then soy sauce. Get that soy sauce. And then the last thing you're going to need is the good old seasoning. Yeah. You might be asking yourself, what? We're just putting all those ingredients together and we're not gonna have it with any actual like vegetable or meat? No, 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 I forgot. You're gonna need some mushrooms too. Uh, so we're gonna start chopping those puppies up. We're gonna start sauteing those puppies up and you're gonna start eating those puppies up and they are gonna be delicious. So here's how you cut the mushrooms. You have these beautiful big mushrooms. You can use uh, the white ones. You can use the bella mushrooms. You can use whatever mushrooms you want, but I tend to use these white ones or the like little, I think it's called Bella mushrooms the most. And here's how you do it, okay? You wanna cut the end off if you don't like the end. Uh, I don't mind the end, but sometimes you just want that little bit of, you know, un, un kind of slightly brownishness off the, off the mushroom out of there. And then just quarter it, so you cut it in half and then cut it again, boom. And that's what you're looking for. So you have these beautiful slices of mushroom now you can, you can always slice it however you want to slice it, but I like slicing it this way because it looks really nice when you get done with it. And uh, I'm gonna chop these up and we'll get onto the uh, pan. There you go. You want that puppy as high as you can get it. And you put this bad boy on, you want a nice big flat pan if you can get one. And then add in some of your sesame oil and some olive oil. And you're gonna wanna put in a little bit more than you typically would whenever you're doing stuff like this. You know, I don't use, I don't typically use as much olive oil as I do when I'm making this because the mushrooms just suck it up. So I'm using a lot, seems like there's a lot there, but the minute those mushrooms get on there, that's gonna be gone. All right, on to the next. Okay, once your skillet gets nice and packing hot, then you wanna start throwing your mushrooms in. Let those things sizzle. Sizzling, sizzling mushrooms. And after they sizzle for a little bit, you're gonna to wanna to toss them. Oh. Make sure you get that oil all over the place. And not too many mushrooms all over the place. Um, but make sure you get the oil all over the mushrooms. And then you're gonna add some salt to it, just a little bit, and that's gonna help. That's gonna help it start to sweat. Once it starts to sweat, then you know you're almost there. So you want these to shrink up a little bit before you start adding any of the real seasonings. I'm talking about the real seasoning. All right, now take a look at these mushrooms real quick. Come on, get all get all, all in here. Take a look at those, and you see how sweaty they are. You see how they're starting to sweat. That's what you want to see. You now you might have yours at a different spot. If you might want a little bit more cooked, a little bit less cooked, but you want them to start sweating first so that this sticks to them. Then you get your handy dandy rose seasoning and you throw it on there and you want to put a hefty heaping of it. It seems like you wouldn't want to put that much. The stuff is pretty, it's got a lot of flavor. You think, I, I don't know, that seems like a lot of seasoning. It seems like too much seasoning. Uh, and that's right where you want it, just where it's a little bit too much seasoning. And then you take it, you toss it, make sure it coats all of them. And we're gonna cook that for a little bit longer. Then we're gonna add one of, my fave, one of my fave ingredients. So come back and see that. Okay, we had this cooking for a little bit and we got the heat way up. We got it about as high as we can get. We want it nice and hot while we're cooking this. And we've given this a chance to melt into the mushrooms. Now we're gonna add some soy sauce. And you wanna really get it hot so that soy sauce really melts on there. And you wanna add, look how much I'm adding. You're gonna get kind of almost steaming. 
in the soy sauce and it disappears. Look at that, the soy sauce has just fully disappeared. We're gonna add a little bit more. Seems like a lot. Seems like we're throwing on a lot of flavor, right? Like I said, it's almost like too much flavor. Now that that soy sauce is in there, we're gonna kick down the heat quite a bit. In fact, we're kicking it down to very low. I don't know what it would be on your guys' stove, like this was high, that's where we want it, right there. Nice and low. Because we want to get this in, but we don't want it to burn, you know what I'm saying? Now we're going to add the last little ingredient, and that is heavy whipping cream. It always makes me gob. Add a little bit of heavy whipping cream to it. Ooh. Boom. That might be a little bit more than a little bit, but stir that around, and you're going to see now that whipping cream, look at that bubble. Mmm, smells delicious. It's getting on those mushrooms. It's starting to cook in. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, we're getting it, uh, we're cooking that down a little bit and getting it involved. And the next thing we're gonna do is flip these puppies so they get nice and coated. And then from here, you can just cook it as long as you want, a couple more minutes. I usually cook it for about, I don't know, maybe about a minute and a half, two minutes once I put the whipped cream on there so that it kind of marries and everything gets nice. And uh, if you want, you can do, the last thing that I like to do, you guys probably don't because you're very healthy, but I always add a little bit of butter at the end to just give it that little bit of goodness. Um, and other than that, I hope you enjoyed the recipe.